Uh, hey everyone, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I got bad news. I have to do jury duty in Africa in, a, in some days from now. Yay! I get to be in the courtroom for hours on end. Uh, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the jury duty is not going to be like how it is, like it is on TV. And uh, fun. <laughs> so I need to buy myself up. So I'm going to be viewing trolls. The beat goes on. Uh, I am going to talk about like the entirety of the show, my thoughts on it, what I like, what I didn't like about it. I'm going to tell what I didn't like because there's more stuff I do like than what I... Yeah, I'm going to tell what I don't like. Hmm. All right, um... Um... Let's see, what don't I like about it? Okay, the twins, those two. Actually, I think it's more on the blue one. Let's see if I can remember. Shh. I think it's Shannon and something else. The blue one, I do not like. She is a complete jerk to her sister, and one of the episodes made me flat out hate her. Because she read her diary. Yeah, her sister's diary in a show and tell. Like, kind of like in a book, uh, scrapbook club. Like a complete jerkwad. <gasps> yeah, um. No, I do not like, um. Um, so one of the sisters I don't like. What else do I not like? I don't like how Creek comes back in the show. Like, he does nothing to prove that he's sorry. Brands is 100% right in the episode, but he's real like a jerk. <clears throat> like, Creek <coughs> betrayed his own mind, and he gets Hulk <coughs> come back. Um, I think that's the only things I don't like about the show. Now, what I do like. I love how the show heavily fleshes out met all, basically the main characters from the first movie. We barely get to know any of the characters from the first movie, like Biggie, Guy Diamond, um, the twins, Smidge, and Branch. We, I am happy that Branch does grow. As a character and becomes less introverted. He's making more. He's making friends. He's outside more. Oh shoot. Right. That's another thing I don't like. Uh, the Bergens. The Bergens really um, got dealt a raw deal. Because they only got like one season of development. And this is out of seven seasons. Um... Basically, we get to learn some about the Bergens. And then after season one, we don't see them ever again until season four or five. Yeah, season four. And that's the final episode. And then they, we do see them again, I think, in season five. When the characters are going through wormholes and... Go Basically exploring the multiverse of different dimensions. They basically see a uh, Bridget and Gristle Bergen, but they are tiny and the trolls are giant. And it only lasts like less than a minute, and then they leave to another dimension. And then after that, the Bergens are never shown ever again in the series. They do re well, King Gristle reappears in uh, what episode was it? Um, Charles Topia, the episode, ah, oh, season one, where Val is looking for a missing cuddle thing. And 
missed opportunity. We could have seen the Bergens interact with the other trolls. <sighs> but yeah, the Bergens, um, we do get to learn more about their relationship season one. All right, which is nice. Um, let's see. Uh, back to the main, back to what I do like. <coughs> the show does, like, heavily buff out Smidge, her character development. She does fall in love near the end of the series with... <coughs> oh, I forget his name. They don't, he never shows up in Trollstopia, which... We are why he never shows up ever again. <clears throat> um, Charles Hobbit does heavily flesh out Tiny Diamond. There's also a little continuity error, which I guess they're trying to say Charles Topia is non canon. I guess some say that this show is non canon, which. Um, I guess it might be. Because Poppy says in Trolls Topia in Season 7, six months have passed since the events of, um, since Season 1. But in Trolls 3, we learn that guy Tiny Diamond is only one month old. So, <clears throat> I'm guessing that they're not taking any stuff from the, th yeah, Charles Toby and just skipping that. So I guess the canon will go, Charles won uh, the holiday special, two, the holiday special after two, and then three. Fun. Uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> honestly, I thought, I w <clears throat> when I first watched the show, I thought I wasn't going to like Guy Diamond, but he did grow on me after the show, and I wouldn't say he's my favorite character in this in the series. He's definitely number three, Smidge would be number two, and Branch number one. Um, I guess Poppy would be tied with Smidge. Both of them share number two spot. Damn, Biggie is okay. Mr. Dinkles definitely would. Mm, it's cool, too. Um, so the show is basically, like, it's epic Sonic. Like, there's no overarching plot for the show. It's just random stuff happening in every episode. There was a plot which they said that they were related to the Bergens, but they are quickly swept away too. <sighs> which kind of ticks me off because I kind of wish we could have learned more about them, but... Oh, and this new um, party crasher that's living with the trolls. Never shows up ever again after season five. They even mention that in the series finale. <laughs> um, alright, what do I, what else do I like? Um, the art style is neat. <laughs> yeah, the art style is very neat. Um, hmm. I also like Sky Taranto. He's a very interesting character. Um, what else is there? Oh, Kenneth gets more development, which is really cool. He's a interesting character. Hmm. Honestly, it is really fun. <clears throat> it is short, like... 
like every episode is like 30 minutes long. It's split up between two episodes. Both of them roughly 11 minutes long. One season has like six episodes. Well, it differs from season to season. Some seasons could have seven episodes, eight or six. So that's something. But eh, I enjoyed the show. All right, if it's on uh, Netflix. Oh, I also kind of like... I mean, I also like Cloud Guy, too. He's a very weird reality warper that <coughs> is based... He kind of reminds me a bit like Discord from My, My Little Pony and a little bit of Bill Cipher. Seeing how both three of them like to torment ones who are highly intelligent, Dipper, Twilight, and Branch. Um... Cloudlight does like to pull pranks on Branch. So does Discord on Twilight. And Bill likes to mess with, well, Dipper Pines, too. Just because. Um, hmm. He's a weird character, but cool. Like, comment below if you've seen the show and what your thoughts on it. I hope everyone has a fun, wonderful day. Um, bye.